I am Angela Harris. I research biomaterials for Ford Motor Company in Dearborn, Michigan. My job is to develop new materials for our future vehicles, specifically plastic materials that have environmental advantages, so looking at using renewable and recycled materials. My job now at Ford as a research engineer in plastics is to look at developing sustainable materials for our future vehicles. So we're looking at ways to reduce our petroleum usage in the materials that we use. A lot of people don't realize that plastic materials are typically derived from petroleum. And so what we're doing is we're looking at alternative sources to make those plastic parts. Soybean oil or sugars from different plants, those can all be used as starting feedstocks to make green materials. And when you have a green plastic from a renewable resource, you're reducing your dependence on petroleum and you're also reducing your environmental footprint. Our bio-based materials research program has led the way for developing soy-based foam for our vehicles. So we have soy foam in nearly all of the vehicles that we produce in North America, in the seat backs and the seat cushions. A lot of the work that I do has a very large economic impact across the country. We're not just based in Detroit, we're working with people all across the country. Part of what I do here at Ford is networking and trying to work with suppliers that are working on you know, green material technologies as well as universities. We even have relationships with farming industry and farmers um, to look at you know, what crops are they using and how can we find new uses for their crops. Keeping a domestic source of these materials is so important to us. I feel really privileged that in my job I can bring these different groups together and maybe introduce a smaller supplier to a tier one supplier and help pull that technology into our Ford vehicles. I am one of eight million workers in America's auto industry. 